Algebra is rooted in the use of variables to stand in for numbers, as in the expressions 2x, x squared plus x plus 2, and x plus 2 equals 10. The variables used most often are x, y, and z, but any variable may be used in an algebraic expression. Two basic skills will be critical for your ability to manage algebraic expressions. These are simplifying algebraic expressions and factoring them. These two skills are not at all distinct. In fact, they depend upon each other. Let's see how. First, understand that you can always combine like terms. The best way to understand what is meant by like terms is by looking at an example. Imagine you're given the expression 3x plus 9 minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 plus 4x squared. We want to combine like terms. So we can put together the x squareds. So we'll add 4x squared and negative 2x squared and get simply 2x squared. The next term that we can combine is the x's. So 4x and 3x is 7x. And finally, we'll look at our constants, so just the numbers. That gives us 9 and negative 3, or positive 6. So when we combine our like terms, we're going to combine x squareds with x squareds, x's with x's, constants with constants, and so on. Now, factoring algebraic expressions is the counterpart to combining like terms. When you factor an expression, you look for common terms and simplify them by factoring out the common term and combining the other elements. For instance, in the expression 8x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x, we have the common term 2x. In each of these, we can factor out a value of 2x. So 8x cubed is the same thing as 2x times 4x squared, 6x squared is the same thing as 2x times 3x, and 4x is the same thing as 2x times 2. So I'm going to factor my 2x out all the way, and then I'm left with 4x squared plus 2x plus 2. Now, the reverse of factoring is distributing, or multiplying a term through an adjacent expression. This can be a good way to check and make sure you factored correctly. For instance, if we multiply 2x through the other three terms in the expression we have, we'll go back to our original expression, 8x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x. So we know we factored correctly. When you plug actual values into an expression, you are evaluating the expression. For instance, if you have the expression x plus 2, and you know that x equals 3, you simply plug 3 in for x, add that to 2, and get 5. So let's look at the expression that we simplified previously. 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. What do we get if x equals 5? Take some time and evaluate this expression. So, how did you do? When you're evaluating expressions, it's very important that you pay attention to the order of operations. So I've plugged the 5 in. I need to make sure that I do my exponent first before I do my multiplication. So I'm going to multiply 5 squared, and I get 2 times 25, plus 7 times 5, plus 6, which gives me 50, plus 35, plus 6, for a total of 91. Now, let's practice with a few expressions.
let's go through your answers. For the first one, you can combine the n cubes, the n squared, the n's, and the constants to give you 2n cubed plus 12n squared plus 6n minus 3. For the second question, you see that there's a y squared common to all three parts. So you can take out a y squared, and then that would be multiplied by y plus 2 plus 5x. And finally, in evaluating this expression, you want to plug b equals 3 into the expression and multiply out. So we get 4 times 3 cubed minus 5 times 3 squared. 3 cubed is 27, and 3 squared is 9. 4 times 27 is 108, minus 45 gives us 63. Excellent.